Hi guys and welcome to update one for my 2021 project pan. I have made some pretty good progress but I've not finished any of the products. I have one product which I will discontinue and basically throw it away because it has expired. I've tried to use it but it's just mission impossible and I will replace it with a different product. So let's start from that. The Inglot eyeliner. When I was introducing this product into this project pan I knew it was old and it is old but I was still hoping I can make some use of out of it and unfortunately after trying for a number of days I just had to give up on it because it was just too hard it wasn't even performing as an eyeliner anymore it was actually painful to use because I would have to use a really hard brush to be able to apply it to my eyelids and that would just irritate my eyelids so I have decided to do the smart thing and actually get rid of it I have a tendency to try to use up my products rather than throw them away if possible so to have to throw away a product that is barely used is really painful to me this is the product Inglot black eyeliner I think it was a gel formula I've tried guys I really really tried I've tried to mix stuff in here to make it more creamy but I couldn't there was just nothing that I could possibly do to make it work again so I am getting rid of this product from this project pan which I don't really do often but I have no choice and I will replace it with another product. The product I'm replacing it with is by Elizabeth Arden and this is a body bronzer. It's a cream body bronzer. It's massive. It's 70 grams and I've hardly used it. This is an old product. It has been discontinued as far as I know. This is what it looks like. There's a sponge that comes with it. It's a nice product but it's a little bit painful to use because it is cream and of course it is massive in size. So since we are now only at the beginning of spring, I thought it will give me plenty of time till the end of summer to hopefully use it up but I don't anticipate having much progress in the next couple of months. Now with this switch over out of the way I can show you the progress on the remaining products. Product number one was the L'Oreal Nude Magic CC Cream anti downness That's what it looks like. It's been as far as I know discontinued. At the beginning of this product I was somewhere here as you can tell. I can't possibly know where exactly I was but I remembered that I I used it maybe a few times, literally maybe five times, no more, in the past. So my estimate was that I was somewhere at the very top of the tube. I have made some pretty good progress and I've estimated that by squeezing this little tube and seeing where it becomes a little bit firmer. So my estimate is that I am actually somewhere here, which is pretty good. I use this product every day. My skin has become a lot better in terms of my acne issues. I don't really have very many blemishes these days, so I can use a CC cream on an everyday basis. And sometimes when needed, I use it kind of like a base under another foundation, another light coverage foundation, and it works perfectly fine. I do actually like this product. Another face product you will be able to see that I've made some really good progress was from Inglot and this is their powder. This is where I'm at. You can see the pan. The pan is pretty large. There's actually not that much product left just on the edges. I suspect another couple of months and I will have finished this product. This is actually a really good powder as well. It's just that it is the oldest powder in my collection so that's why I'm using it because I hate throwing stuff. Away. By the way, I am actually wearing all of those products on my face today. So my entire makeup consists of those products. Of course, there are some categories that are not included in my project pan. So I added some extra products, but most of these products are on my face today. And that includes the next item, which is the Bourjois Aqua Blush in Cocorico Rail. Again, I cannot tell you where I'm at, but I've used it religiously. I used it, I suspect, at least 20 times if not more because this update is going up approximately six or seven weeks after the intro so I did use it almost every single day and I love it I really love it it's perfect for like a no makeup makeup look it's very fresh looking it is perfect especially for this time of year I think spring summer and it has a cooling effect as well I love it I use it every day but I use it with joy the next item consists of two products because I counted them separately in this product pan and this is Master Sculpt by Maybelline. This is a contouring powder and 
highlighter and this is what it looks like and i've made a really good progress guys as you can tell this pan is a lot larger than in the intro with the highlight you can't really tell very much there is a slight dip in the center but of course highlight is a lot harder to use up because you need so little i have a sense that again another couple of months or so or a couple of updates and the bronzing powder will be gone i do like this powder it's kind of subtle but it can look a little bit muddy on the face you kind of have to be careful with how much you apply because on one hand it can be too light to really give you any effect on the other hand if you apply too much it literally is gonna look like you have dirt on your face the next product is a non-makeup item this is the only literally the only non-makeup item well apart from the nail polishes in this product pan and this is the clarins ooh dynamison Vitality Freshness Firmness. It's like a perfume. It's something that basically smells and smells of lavender, which might have a calming effect on me because I'm not a calm person. But yeah, I, I didn't actually make that much of a progress. This is where I was in the intro. This is where I am now. So that might seem like not much progress at all, but I actually had a back issue. So for a couple of weeks, I literally didn't leave the house almost at all. And I'm not gonna wear perfume around the house. I literally use it only when I'm leaving the house so i would have made a little bit more progress if it wasn't for those two weeks where i couldn't move much let's move on to the lip products because this is gonna be a really quick update and the reason for that is because i literally used only two out of i think five was it five or six lip products that I've introduced into this product pan. Let's start with the ones that I haven't even touched because that will be the quickest and these are two Max Factor lip glosses, one in 05 Weekend Spa, the other one in 06 Cloudy Red, Estee Lauder Mini Lip Gloss Pure Color Gloss in Magnificent Mauve and the last one is on its last leg anyway is again by Max Factor and this is a lip gloss in Luscious Amethyst. I haven't touched these, so there's no progress to report. The two lip products that I have actually used are one, the lipstick by Bare Minerals Moxley, Moxley? Moxie Live Large. This is the one I'm wearing on my lips. It's a beautiful shade. It actually stays on for ages, but when it stains my teeth, and I have this problem with most of the lipsticks, unless you wipe it off straight away, it won't come off. One day, I didn't realize I had this lipstick on, and I had it on my teeth and I was out. I came home and it was probably about an hour or a couple of hours after I suspect this lipstick transferred onto my teeth. I couldn't wipe it off. It wouldn't budge. I left it for the day assuming that at some point it would just disappear or once I've eaten it would just be eaten with my food, which it did. In the evening it was gone, but it's really painful. Now in terms of progress, I've made this line on the cup with the nail polish and it was not a good line as you can see. I'm not going mark the cap because there's really not enough progress to mark the cap. I use it about maybe five or six times only so it wouldn't have been sufficient to really see any progress with this lipstick. I was actually trying to use up another lipstick which is not in the project pan so that's why I kind of neglected this one otherwise I think I would have had a lot more progress to show you guys so that will probably be the case in the next update. And the next item which I have actually made some progress with is this lip gloss and with this lip gloss this whole palette is from a shop it's their own brand it's actually clothing store next so i had it for ages and that's why i'm trying to use this up this lip gloss is actually really nice i am really surprised with it given the fact that it's not really like a branded makeup and i enjoy using it i use it normally when i go to a grocery shop like for a really short walk i did use it probably about 10 times i'd say and there is some progress made but of course there's still quite a lot of product left so I suspect maybe maybe I will have it finished in the next couple of updates and since we are on this palette let's move on to eye products as a part of this product there is an eyeshadow as you can see the brown one here I have made some progress it might not be very clear on the camera but I can definitely see the difference this is in this kind of light brown shade and I use it for my eyebrows I don't really use it as an eyeshadow I just use it in my eyebrows and I really like it the shade is absolutely perfect for me so I genuinely enjoy using this product then I have this MAC 
pencil it's in kind of charcoal gray like a very dark gray color almost black but not black again i have used it quite a few times actually i use it on an everyday basis pretty much i use it just to kind of tight line so i have sharpened it i think twice twice maybe so there is some progress maybe not a huge progress but still progress is progress i really like this eye pencil i find it very easy to use it's very creamy it's just a pleasure to use it and honestly there are times when i regret introducing it into my project pan because i kind of feel like when i use something on an everyday basis rather than when i feel like it i just don't have as much appreciation for it i still appreciate it just not as much as I would have if it was used sporadically. Now moving on to eyeshadow. Technically this is an eyebrow product but I use it as an eyeshadow. It's by collection. This is this brown dark brown shade here. As you can see there is some progress on it. I use it almost every single day. I use it to contour my eyes because I have hooded eyelids so I do use it to kind of create a fake crease to the extent I can actually create it. So I do use it very frequently and I really enjoy using this product. I'm so used to it now that I find it very strange when I don't actually use it and there have been some days when I didn't use it at all. It's a really cheap product from a very cheap brand but I like using it. It just works for what I need it. The next item is a loose eyeshadow by Bourjois. It is in, if only I knew, Regard or Saint-Elant. Never mind. I don't know how to pronounce it because it is a French brand with a French name. What I have done with this product is, this is the original container. I kind of emptied it into this little cup so that I can track the progress. I use it only twice, about twice. So there's definitely no progress here to mark. So this line is from the intro. I did my very best to be accurate with this line, but this is a loose product, so it moves around quite a bit, but I've not made any progress on it. I've used it also on my cheeks. I wanted to see if I could use it as a highlight but I can't. It's just not the right shade for me. It is golden as you can see. It would potentially work for a darker skin tone but with me it just isn't the right kind of shade uh, to highlight me. It just looks like I've painted my cheeks golden. It's a beautiful eyeshadow though. It's a beautiful shade. It's just that I can only use it on my eyes, unfortunately. The last two eyeshadows are in one duo palette and these are by Avon. These are the oldest eyeshadows I have. They're absolutely beautiful. I have them on my eyes. You can see some progress there, but eyeshadows are notoriously difficult to pan. So I'm pleased with the progress I have made, but it will be a a little while before I have used those up. I suspect another four months of a regular use because I also want to use some other eyeshadows. So I don't want to use this palette or duo every single day as much as I like it. I have grown a little bit tired of it this past few weeks because I just kept on using it every day. So at this point I think I'm just gonna use it a little bit more sporadically. Hence it will be a while before these are used up even though the pans are huge. As you can see. Well, at least this one. This one is still decent. The last two products I have are nail polishes. One of them is a nail polish peel off base. This is something I've ordered from Amazon. I didn't use it very much, so that's where I was in the intro. That's where I'm right now. I've used it maybe two or three times, uh, hence the very little progress I have made. The other nail polish is by Revlon, and this is in, does it say the name of the shade? Yes, five. 85 Bohemian. Again, I've made some progress on it, but it's a really big nail polish. So that's where I was in the intro video. This is where I'm at right now. I use it primarily on my toes. I do have it on my nails now because my commitment to Project Pan tells me that I need to use all Project Pan items when I'm shooting a Project Pan update. I don't particularly like this color, to be honest. That's why I've decided to introduce it into this Project Pan so I can just continuously use it on my toes. Again, judging by the progress, it will be a little while before this is used up but I'm not in a hurry. I just need something to paint my toes with and who on earth is gonna see my toes for months? It's still way too cold to wear sandals. So I don't really care what's on my toes, hence I'm using this nail polish. And this is it, 21 makeup 
happy product with a few exceptions. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel for more updates. If you have any comments, any feedback regarding just about anything, then you know what to do. Just leave it down below. Thank you so much for your time and I do hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.